Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-automation.com Today we are going to talk about Catalon Studio's new version which is 6.1.0 and recently Catalon Studio has done so many improvement in the Catalon Studio and they have so many new features so let's see what exactly new in 6.1.0 Okay, so in this video we will be focusing about Catalon Studio 6.x. So if you are using 6.0.4 or 6.1.0 then you will be able to see all these features. So we will talk about what is Catalon Store here and we will also talk about Catalon Plugins and uh, when we talk about Catal Catalon Plugins, so here we have some free plugins and few are commercial which is paid and currently it is available for trial okay and finally we'll also talk about how we can use the catalon plugins which is available on catalon store okay which is um and the website is store.catalon.com so let me show you this so recently catalon studio have like catalon team has created the store.catalon.com where you can see all their products so they have Catalan Studio, Catalan Analytics and Catalan Recorder. So first of all if you are completely new to Catalan then I will highly recommend you to watch one of my series where we discussed about Catalan. What is Catalan in depth and how to create your first script in Catalan and uh, I also have created how you can use Catalan Recorder, Catalan Analytics and how you can do the web API testing as well using Catalan Studio. Okay, so now if you go back to this link where they have discussed about the history, like what changes they are doing since they started. Okay, so the current version which is updated is 6.1.0 which I am going to cover right now. So apart from this custom fix uh, keyword plugin, what they have, they have done so many fixes and improvement. So if you have this time, go through it. So from Catalon 6, they have introduced uh, Catalon plugin as well okay where you can um, create some plugins okay and you can upload on their Catalon store plus you can download some free plugins which is available okay so in 6.1 you can also create your custom keywords and you can uh, publish this as a plugin so that your team or if it is like available for everyone then overall uh, or I will say the complete testing community can use this okay so this custom keywords are nothing but like you have created some custom code and you want to uh, like you can use it as a function or some kind of library which can be utilized by other team members or for other projects okay so we will be talking about how we can create your own custom keywords in the next video just a glimpse you can see here you can create your custom keywords here and that plugins you can share within the team or you can publish as a plugin as well so just go to their store.catalan.com and you need to log in with your credentials okay then only you can download so as you can see here when i click on my username i can see my name manage install plugin so let me click on this plus you can also publish your own plugin and the setting options okay so right now i have two plugins in, uh, installed on my system for catalon which is auto healing smart xpath and gyra integration so both are i guess paid now so you can see it shows you the expiration date so let me show you all the plugins if you scroll down you will see if you want only the free one you can select that i need the free plugins and they also have categories okay so as of now all categories shorted by top rated top installed recently added and if you think like you the you want some more plugins and which will help complete testing community not only for your project you can also request for the new plugin okay so you can see these are the free plugins which is available and how to use it i will show you so what i will show you um, let me show you how you can install first of all so guys this is just a glimpse about the new catalon studio you can see the latest uh, version which i'm using is 6.1.0 and if you see the small enhancement they have done in the ui you can see these icons are coming right 
you can directly navigate to the forum you can do the chat you can tweet and you can also provide the feedback and this is the main part plugin store so if you click here you can see if you want certain plugins right you can just visit the plugin store it will redirect you to the same store.tatalon.com and you can manage the plugins and reload okay so let's do one thing uh, let's install one plugin let's say this one HTML table custom keywords and uh, once you install this how it will come to your Catalan studio that are, we are going to see now it's a free one so you don't have to worry about it okay just click on install okay so it will say accept the agreement say, say I agree and it will take few seconds and it will install and you just need to do a small reload in your Catalan studio okay because at both the places we did the login right so both are synced so as soon as I install the plugin from the Catalan store it should come to our Catalan studio as well as you can see plugin installed successfully and it is asking us to reload the plugin okay so let's click on plugin store and just do the reload plugin so once your reloading is complete you will see that whatever plugins you have installed it will come in the plugin section so just now we installed the html table custom keyword and previously i installed these two plugins okay so once you click on close okay you will find all that options here so you can see i have installed uh gyra integration plus i also installed one more plugin called smart xpath healing right <coughs> so if you go to all i installed this one which is auto healing smart xpath and just now we installed html table custom keyword and i already have the gyra one okay gyra integration this is also paid so you will find all these options here now let's see and before we move forward let me check do we have everything covered so yeah this is the version details this link i will share in the description guys so in case in future they are updating a new like they are releasing a new version you will get all the history details okay and uh, this one just now we discussed it is a marketplace just like we have eclipse marketplace where you can download certain plugins right and you can use it in a similar way in catalog store you can also create your own plugin and you can update okay which will help the testing community similarly um, you can create custom key, uh, keywords as a plugin as well okay not only uh, you have to create general plugins you can also create custom uh, keyword as a plugin and you can publish it so this we will discuss in the next video for this you need a small info or knowledge about the gradle okay so this how to create your custom keywords and how to publish this as a plugin we will discuss in the next video in this video we'll see how to download and use the existing plugins okay so uh, we have already installed so i am going to show you one plugin which is auto healing xpath okay which is very interesting guys auto healing is smart xpath if you click on it um, what exactly does if your xpath is broken or let's say some ui changes happen it will try to write or it will try to create a new xpath okay so anyways we know in catalon studio we have now smart xpath it will take the xpath from the neighbor right so all the rec, uh, xpath access which we have it will automatically try to get the new xpath and it will try to heal it about that auto healing just try to read about it anyways i'm going to show you how it works so as you can see here we have multiple options here so these options are record web this is for record like this is for the object spy and this is for the recording web and recording mobile so what i have done i have created a small application just to demonstrate this example so what i did i created a small login page so if you see this login page i have created just a username and password and simpler login button 
and it doesn't do anything in the background it is just a dummy page why i have created this so that i can show you that if some x path is getting changed then how your catalon will behave okay so to create this page i have used this blogger platform where i have i will show you what exactly it does so you can see this is the small html code for this so this is the page and this is the html page for the same so let's do this first uh, we'll see how to uh, create first script for this page then i will make certain changes from the ui and this is what actual happens in the real time right locators will get changed at runtime so how your script will behave that exactly we are going to see right now so this is our catalog and this is our url of the application which we want to automate so what we will do we'll go back to this test case and let's create a new test case and this i will say login mukesh blog you can give anything like login blog so this is the login blog and uh, you can click on this record web you can paste and let's click on record option okay so it will try to open this let's enter see guys this is just a dummy page so i can give anything let's say admin this also i will give admin and finally i will click on login okay that's all so i will close this so it should generate the script right yeah so it generated the script and i will click on ok and it is going to create one page object it will store all the locators that's fine and uh, yeah you can see it has created one object repository all the pages all the locators and this is our test okay so let me quickly run this just to check whether it recorded all the steps correctly or not and simply it will run so guys anyways we have installed this xpath uh, auto healing xpath plugin so what it does in case any locator changes okay it will try to heal the xpath and it will avoid like uh, before failing the script it will try to heal all the different xpath right so that's what we will do once our script is working fine once we'll make sure everything is correct we'll go and change the locators okay so um, in real time as well whenever some enhancement comes locator might get updated so we want to see how our catalog will behave so as of now it will simply do yeah it's working fine okay now before we make any changes make sure this plugin is enabled okay so already it's enabled and let's do this i will go to the blogger this is the password field i will change this to pass one and name also i will change to ps1 okay and i will update okay it means now password field got updated so previously if you just inspect this previously it was pass and psw now if you just refresh you can see it changed to pass1 and psw1 it means now locators are updated but how the catalon will behave let's see let's try to run the same script and select chrome and new sessions and let's wait so what catalon will do it will try to find password field with the locator and if that locator is not present so as per the implicit wait it will wait for a few seconds or whatever implicit wait internally catalon has defined then it will try to find some other x path okay uh, like relative x path and neighbor x path and all so you can see it entered the username and password it is still waiting because locator got changed so after a period of time it will try to heal the x path and if it found another x path it will continue otherwise it will fail the script so let's wait okay just keep on waiting 
it will wait for the implicit weight yeah you can see it entered the password clicked on login and then it failed and you can see with the help of that plugin this section got started it says auto healing smart xpath auto trying out other xpath values and it found another xpath and it will continue so you can see uh, when it was trying to find that password field it says we are unable to find located by this please recheck the object property that's what we did now very important part when you go to this section you can see this xpath auto healing logs so you can see these are two broken xpath and this plugin is giving you proposed xpath and you will also get this option like do you want to approve this so when you say yes approve it will go and it will update your object repository so it says please refresh the object repository to see the xpath values got updated so when i say okay and if you go and check okay we need to refresh it so just refresh okay it is not updated yet maybe we have to restart the catalog and see okay but you can see here it did this auto healing part and it worked okay so this is how you can try this xpath auto healing X, smart xpath like that you can also explore other plugins which is available on the catalog store and you can start using it okay you can see we have catalog analytics get it is jira in a similar way you can try with other plugins which is test trail and so on they are literally very easy to use and you just need to play with some configurations Uh, very important plugins if you want to integrate with slack and if you want to integrate with test rail right dbms custom keyword json pathfinder read write excel custom keyword and most important this angular js keywords also is there so many plugins will come okay and uh, you can also contribute if you want okay so i will create a new video where we can talk about how you can create your own plugin and publish it okay so that's all i have for this video in the next video we'll talk more about the plugins creation upload and how to create custom keywords okay that's all i have for this video guys if you like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a nice day bye bye